Hi guys, welcome back to the boat videos. So in 2019 I moved on to the boat. I took some videos um, for people back home. I've put them together, so here's the first one. I hope you enjoy. Hello, welcome back to uh, John Does Boats. So I've uh, got a problem with the depth gauge um, on there. It doesn't work. And um, it's not very good condition. You barely see the um, screen. So um, I bought a new one. Just something just to get me by, really. Because um, it's going to be expensive, whatever you do. And this one seems quite good. It's a uh, Hawkeye digital depth finder. So um, I've already sort of quickly wired it in. And then just to make sure it works that's it there um quite straightforward it's just got like a transducer thing and this that goes on to the bottom of the hole or you can put it out the back in the water but i want to put it inside so uh, yeah, it all works as it is, like this. So now I need to put this where I want it to be in the front, in the bow, and then see if it works there. If it does, then I'll glue it in, and glue it to the bottom of the boat, and put the gauge in properly outside so you can see it. Uh, let's see what happens. Right, so the... I've um, put the transducer down there. Um, you're supposed to put Vaseline between it and the hole. I suppose just so it makes contact and that's what it does. So I just run the cable through. So I switch on the. And you're supposed to beep like that and then. not going through. You said about putting it in water in a plastic bag. Well, it's been quite a while since I uh, tried to say what was going on, but I was just getting a bit stressed. So it's working now. It didn't work the Vaseline. I've gone into the bills. It, it finally worked. And I put a little bit of water in there. But you're only talking like hardly oh, anything. It's just just to get it on the so it's like that with water underneath it. It must just be the way it sort of seals, seals against the hole. So what I'm going to do is get the gauge in properly. Um, leave the cable for now. Going along wherever. Test it out on the water, see how it goes, and then um, if it works like that, I'll try sticking it under the hole. If that doesn't work, take it back off and just leave that filled out of water because there's only a little teeny bit of water in there. So you know, if you can just just keep a little bit of water in there and it makes it work all right. That I have to do for now is. The other option is to put it onto this bracket that um, goes onto the transom. But because it's a yacht, it makes it hard, and this would have to be right in the way. So every time you had a fender out or went close to anything, it's, it's always there a bit of plastic holding it on, and that's not any good, is it? So I'll we'll test it as it is. And see what happens but now I'm gonna have to try and mount mount the gauge into the hole which is down there I'll put it there because this thing's just you can't see it at all it doesn't really work or anything so okay so I made a hole in the boat put the gauge in uh, didn't take too long one not too bad, but I think, you know, 
that's right. Could have taken these out of the way, but can't be bothered. Okay, so I got it in temporarily. So I got the cable just running along to the back of the unit. <laughs> I do for a minute. Um, but I'll show you that it's working, but I'm not going to talk outside because there's people out there. I don't like talking with people. Yeah. It's working at the moment. Uh, wiring's not good, but I'll sort that out now. And then um, go out and test it tomorrow. I'll let you know how it gets on. The depth gauge worked well. Um, join me for the next one, where I find the next problem when I start to anchor. Cheerio.